I don't know if there's audio or not. Um, I will watch it shortly. Uh, the son of former NHL player and interim Flyers GM Daniel Briere is accused of pushing an unoccupied wheelchair down the stairs at a bar in a disturbing surveillance video. On Thursday, Twitter user Julia Zukowski shared the footage and accused Mercyhurst University Men's Hockey Center Carson Briere of the alleged act. Center is a fun position to play in hockey, by the way. Um, I played competitive roller hockey from uh, fourth through ninth grade, and uh, center was a fucking blast. Wing is pretty cool, too. Didn't love defensemen. Um, but anyway, here we go. So if you're if you're looking at the video, I believe uh, Briere is one of these two bros on the stairs here. And uh, you got these two broads uh, hanging out here. Um, I love, by the way, if... Uh, College chicks are all dressing like it's 2002 uh, these days. They're all taking their uh, their uh, clothing cues from Britney circa 2002. So that's um, that's interesting, kind of sexy. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's have a look see at the surveillance footage. I guess there is no audio. I didn't need to put a put an earbud in. So there are the boys. Look at my man's he's crushing a Bud Light. Other guys got what I'm assuming is a Jack and Coke. They got their they got their their backward snapbacks on, a little flannel cuz it's it's winter in uh, in western Pennsylvania. They're having a good time. They're out here. They want to get a little stank on their fingers, catch a cool buzz with the bros. Nothing wrong so far. Chatting it up, probably talking about who's going to smash who. Another bro coming up. This guy, guy coming up the stairs looks like a bit of a fucking square, if we're being if we're being honest. This guy, he looks like he's a bit of a tool. I bet they don't like this guy. I bet, I bet they think he's a he's a fucking jerk off. Ah, now they're letting him chat. He looks like McLovin. I bet th this is the, probably the guy that they make go in and buy stuff underage with like a, a shitty fake ID so that if someone gets caught, they can just drive away while he's dealing with the cops. I feel like that's his role within the social group. Okay, so now the guy in the white hat has sat down in the, uh, in the chair here. I guess that's the wheelchair. It's a little bit out of frame. Uh, yeah, they finally got rid of that guy. I bet he's whispering to him like, "Yeah, what a that guy's such a fucking dipshit." I caught him, I caught him, I caught him jerking off to ladyboy porn the other day. Yeah, it's his fucking roommate, so they kind of got to hang out with him. He's just like, "Yeah, what a creep." Um, and here's the, I guess here's the moment. Here, here it comes. They're, they're about to do it. And you understand if you've ever been in this situation, and if you've drank heavily as a young man, you've been, you've been at the top of these fucking steps before, haven't you? You know exactly what's going through their heads right now. Yo, you know what would be hilarious? So one of them just, one of them definitely said to the other one, yo, you know what would be really funny? And we're about to find out what they think would be really funny. That's what they think would be very funny. I wonder if, does the video replay it? Do we get a little instant replay? Or does it just kind of sit there sadly looking at it? I want to go back. This is, this moment here is my favorite moment in the entire, in the entire thing. Like when they're when they're contemplating what they're about to do. Um, so obviously, people. This was all over the fucking internet. Um, people are very mad at this kid for doing it. He he had to release a public apology. He says, "I am deeply sorry for my behavior on Saturday. 
Uh, there's no excuse for my actions. I will do whatever I can to make up for the serious lack of judgment. On Wednesday, the school's athletic department said Briere, as well as two other student athletes in the video. Oh, so I guess that nerd they were talking to is a student athlete. That dubious, but okay. Uh, Zukowski claimed in a separate tweet that the occupant of the wheelchair had to be physically carried downstairs to use the bathroom. Um, look, I mean, look, college guys are, uh, you know, find me a college guy who isn't a douchebag, right? If you were a guy and you went to college and you went out and you were drinking beers, you were a douchebag at some point. I was a huge douchebag. You, if you watching this at home, if you were a college guy who went out and liked to drink and party and get into, get into a little bit of tomfoolery, you were a huge douchebag at some point. And this is what you do when you're a douchebag looking for, for a good time. And I'm sure that his collective behavior over the years probably, probably amounts to this kid having whatever punishment is coming his way. It is in prob in some karmic sense, probably deserved. But I also think fuck this chick for tweeting the video and making it public, right? Because like I said, college guys are idiots. We're douchebags. Uh, you know, there's like an 80% chance that me or one of my friends would have done the exact same thing uh, when when we were his age, right? You out there watching this, if you were a college guy uh, and you went out and you boozed the way these kids did, uh, it, it's you would have done this. You would have done it and you would have thought it was the funniest shit ever in the moment because you're uh, 19, 20 years old and you've spent the last 12 hours uh, using poison to inhibit your prefrontal cortex and someone has placed... Uh, a chair on wheels precariously at the top of a, a set of stairs. And, you know, as a guy, you have a predisposition for thinking it's awesome whenever anything crashes into anything else. So there's just a hundred, you know, I said 80 before, before I, a almost a hundred percent chance that every college guy would have done this. It just happens to be that they were the college guys who were standing right there uh, when the opportunity availed itself. And it's not because he thinks he's better than anyone uh, or privilege or any of that shit. It's just because he's a young guy, he's drunk, he's with his buddies, and there's something with wheels on top of a staircase. That is it. And again, not a good thing. You know, through the eyes of a 37-year-old man, I can look back at, at at this and say, oh yeah, you, you shouldn't do that. That's not a good idea, but I still have the ability to get back into the brain, um, of that, uh, that young, uh, drunk, uh, douchebag. And I can sit there and I can see myself standing there. I can feel the energy in me. When I look at this, this, uh, frozen, uh, image on the screen here, I can feel the, the, uh, the debate going on in my head, should I push it? Should I not? Dude, should we do it? Should we do it? And, you know, you don't want to be the, the bitch who doesn't push the fucking wheelchair down the stairs. You push the thing down the fucking stairs and you laugh your ass off and then you walk inside uh, and you, again, you go uh, you go look for some stank to get on your fingers. Um, but again, obviously not, uh, not a good thing to do. Um, his father, I guess, is... Uh, um, I guess works for the Flyers and was a, a former um, NHL player, uh, Daniel Breer. I'm not a, I don't watch a whole lot of NHL hockey anymore. Uh, I was shocked to see Carson's actions in the video that was shared on social media yesterday. They're inexcusable and run completely counter to our family's values of treating people with respect. Carson is very sorry and accepts, accepts full responsibility for his behavior. But again, you know, I don't think we need to be shocked by this. I think we need to say, oh, and it's no one's fault, really. I mean, it's obviously it's his fault for pushing down the stairs, but like a, a a chair on wheels, something on wheels was left at the top of stairs uh, at a college bar during the St. Patrick's Day season. Um, this is what you would expect from that. If you placed a wheelchair at the top of stairs at every college bar, uh, across America, not even during St. Patrick's Day season, but just on a, a regular Thursday through Saturday night, 
I would argue that close to 100% of those chairs would be knocked down the stairs. Uh, This is not a reflection of the kid who did it. It's a reflection of what young guys think is hilarious when they've been drinking. This is... This is like the farthest thing, uh, farthest uh, from the worst thing that a college guy has ever done while drunk. Like, this is effectively a minor property crime. This is not a huge deal. Sucks for the chick, but look, I'm sure, you know, restitution will be made. It will be taken. Back in the day, they would just ding you for the price of the wheelchair and you'd have to apologize to the chick. Now they try to ruin your fucking life. Um, This is a, it's a minor property crime. Um, you know, go after their, again, the, uh, you know, the creepy English class best friend who's waiting until, uh, the, the, you know, one of the girls comes home crying because her friend's fucking wheelchair got thrown down the stairs and the, the fucking creep from her English class, um, who's, you know, he's reading, uh, passages from, uh, from the fucking, uh, the romantics or the transcendentalists who are to try to sound deep. Uh, that's the guy you got to fucking watch out for. Uh, a, a, a wheelchair can be replaced. Um, your innocence and purity taken at the hands of uh, some fucking pencil neck weirdo who's been stalking you and jerking off to your, your Facebook picture um, cannot. Um, in a subsequent, a subsequent tweet Zukowski this chick sucks identified Carson as the guy in the white hat in the security footage which appears to be time stamped Saturday March 11th at 11 37 p.m yeah this this kid did did his decision making ability uh you know nearing midnight on a March Saturday was not going to be at its peak uh Mercyhurst University, located in Pennsylvania, told the Daily Mail that an investigation was being taken over by the Erie Police Department. You know, like, again, like, you, this could be handled so easily. Just pay for a new fucking wheelchair. You know, make the, make the kid do community service on campus until the wheelchair is paid off. Like, that's it. it problem solved. And, you know, make them take whatever. Like, they used to make us take uh, classes when we got caught drinking underage. They had uh, they had one called Choices, and another one was called Decisions. Um, and I was a, a, a graduate of both. And they were fun. They were so much fucking fun. I, f- I actually forgot about uh, the fact uh, they used to send us to that shit in college. So if you got caught drinking underage... They would send you to these classes uh, to teach you about, you know, the the dangers of underage drinking. Like it was supposed to be this kind of punishment, and it was always like the the lady teaching the the class was always cool. Like she was like a fun chick to to hang out with and and bust balls a little bit. Like she had kind of a sense of humor, and the other people in the class were always cool because it was the the class was it would be like a dozen kids who were underage drinking together who got caught at like different things. And you would just be hanging out trading your stories of what you did to get caught underage drinking. Like it was like, it's like three guys from the football team, a couple guys from the, uh, the lacrosse team, the chicks on the field hockey team, a couple, uh, you know, sorority sluts, some kid named moose from a fraternity or whatever. And uh, you, you're all having a great fucking time, you know, and uh, it turns into a laugh fest. And you wind up making plans for that night because it's ours was held on a fucking Thursday night. And like we would literally be in there before the the lady came in making plans for the underage drinking that we would be doing after the class got out. Um, And like as a fucking as a joke on the, the last day, we held a graduation party and we invited her to it. We told her that we would be underage drinking once again. Like it was. It's that's what you know. That's what college was supposed to be, um, but instead, uh, you know, we have these fucking, we have these fucking killjoys, fucking everybody, uh, fucking everything up for us. Um, the school acknowledged the incident late this afternoon. Mercyhurst University became aware of a disturbing video in which one of our student athletes is seen pushing an unoccupied wheelchair down a flight of stairs at a local establishment. Yeah, fucking colleges love 
colleges love as a PR move. They love for the public to see that they're willing to punish a student athlete, by the way. Uh, student athletes walk around with fucking targets on their back. If did, any other fucking kid had done this, I feel like this wouldn't be uh, a viral story. Um, and honest, again, they use the word disturbing. This isn't disturbing. He was, this is just something that in the moment a drunk kid thought was funny. Like there was, there was a time when this was just known as college. You used to go, college used to be, you would go, you would drink beer while being held upside down by your friends. Uh, You would get blown by a fat chick in a sorority hoodie and you'd eat some fucking, you know, chicken fingers and fries while falling asleep to uh, to a DVD of Full Metal Jacket. It was great. Uh, now, it's it's four years of uh, a bunch of fucking whiny assholes questioning their gender and fighting back against straight white males. It's really, they've really ruined the college experience. I remember this was happening back in like 2012, 2013, and people were like, hey, something something is going horribly wrong on college campuses. These kids are a fucking mess. They're not having fun anymore. They're just complaining about things. And everyone was like, oh, don't, well, whatever, you're old, don't worry about it. Um, and now we have to, de- you know, 2013, 10 years ago, uh, some of these people are in their early 30s, uh, and they're the kind of whiny shitheads we have to deal with uh, ruining fun for everybody on a daily basis. And that has become the college tradition for every for every group of kids who's out there filling gallon jugs with booze and stimulants um, and, and throwing things down chairs for a, for a goof. Uh, there's, uh, you know, some cunt fucking protesting the patriarchy and people releasing fucking uh, surveillance footage of jokes. Fucking assholes. Um, and by the way, by the way, this so Zukowski included a GoFundMe they started to help raise money for a new wheelchair. Yeah, they. We can it's they now. We have to use they to refer to uh, her. Um, this has nothing to do with the wheelchair or the chick who owns the wheelchair, and this has everything to do with this Zukowski broad getting credit for coming to the fucking rescue. She is going. Mark my words, people like her. You don't want to deal with these kind of fucking people in corporate America. They're the ones who are making corporate America a miserable place. The people like her are the reason that you can't have fun at an office Christmas party anymore. Like, she is one of those assholes who goes around, I guarantee you, and this is a thing, this is a thing that they were doing a few years ago. I haven't heard it in a while. Uh, They would go around saying things like, the temperature in the office is sexist because women get cold easily. And they have to put on like a cardigan or something like that to stay warm in the air conditioner. Um, Yeah, we do not need more of this fucking chick. Uh, Carson played 30 games for the Lakers in the uh, 22-23 season, totaling five goals and eight assists. Um, Briere was dismissed from the men's hockey team at Arizona State as a freshman for what the program said was a violation of team rules. Uh, He says, I was just going out. I wasn't taking hockey seriously. I wasn't anything bad. It was just not being committed to hockey. I was more committed to having fun at school. Too much partying. That's probably the best way to put it. Yeah, look, man, I get it. I Honestly, I would have just said fuck playing an extra two years of hockey and stayed at ASU to slay puss, though. Um, Mercyhurst, for those who don't know where he goes to college, is in western Pennsylvania. Um, So what this guy effectively did, at at Arizona State, you could throw anything you want down the stairs. They don't care because they know that people are there to have fun. this guy threw away two extra years of Arizona State pussy to fuck a bunch of pigs from outside Pittsburgh. Like, literally, Pittsburgh is a town known for uh, for good sandwiches. Good sandwiches and rough winters. Hardy women. Good sand- like, really Good, big, robust sandwiches and cold winters do not make for attractive women. Uh, tell, tell me about all the hot chicks, you know, from Western Pennsylvania. Oh, wait. Um, he went from a school known for suntan, uh, suntans and sorority sluts to a place marred by the decline of the steel industry. Terrible fucking move. Um, 
you effectively, if you're if you're wondering how that how that lines up sexually, he took himself from being the star of a Brazzers video every weekend to being a guy who appears in a couple clips from MidwestFreaks.com. And if you have ever seen what the bellies, buttholes, and vaginas uh, in a Midwest Freaks video look like, you you would lose your ability to get an erection so badly that you would have to change your name to Cheyenne. Um, it's just, it's, it's a scene, man. If you haven't checked it out, do yourself a favor. Um, anyway, is anyone out in the comments section tugging it to Midwest, Mid, Midwest freaks? Hager, Hager's crushing every chick from Western PA looks like Shane Gillis with a wig. Yes. <laughs> Um, JD Straits, uh, we ran a guy over and then pushed his body off a cliff. He hunted down my friends with a fish hook, but I got away. Uh, did that happen last summer? I think I I know I know the uh, the incident you're talking about. I believe that happened last summer, JD. Um. Fagano, or however you pray, slay puss. Why else do you play sports? Absolutely. Absolutely. Student athletes here just play soggy biscuit. Is that uh is that what is that what you call uh the ookie cookie where uh, where you come from? Larry Rice, I found a new guy to get weed from at a court-ordered marijuana class. Uh, Thomas Hager uh, responds to that, and it appears that uh, that Hager thinks you're probably uh, a narcotics officer. Um, it is it is indeed the ookie cookie nighttime conqueror. Very good, good to know that you and the guys are uh, are still jerking off onto baked goods, conqueror. Um, uh, okay. Um, we got, uh, one more. I do want to look at, uh, before we wrap up, I want to check out this cartel story. Um, so we will go from, uh, from the campuses. Uh, 